Hello students, welcome back to our channel Food Tech Online. Today's topic for our class is Food Chemistry and Nutrition, MCQ Set 2nd. So let's start. Before starting, let me tell you about the CUET PG Food Engineering and Technology ebook in which we are going to cover topics like Food Chemistry and Nutrition, Food Microbiology, Food Product Technology, Food Engineering. Ebook ka link description mein hai if you want go and access that so the first question is which of the following enzyme digests protein into smaller polypeptides and that enzyme is trypsin trypsin is the enzyme which is found in small intestine to break down the proteins so the next question is dash are the commonly used methods to inactivate phenolase which is the method used to inactivate phenolase enzyme that is heat treatment question is one of the problem in the production of beer is haze in beer haze in beer is uh, is the thing like dhund when it's in, unclear to to vision is known as haze the protein component the four question is the protein component without its cofactor is termed as apo enzyme and the protein component with its cofactor is termed as holoenzyme. Next question is which of the following enzyme is used for tenderizing of meat? Tenderizing of meat can be done by the all the three methods like bromelain, fissin, and trypsin are the enzymes which is used for tenderizing of meat. So the answer will be all of the above. Next question is enzymes used for destruction of naturally occurring bitter principles from oil and the answer for the question is glucosidase enzymes next question is enzymes used in chill proofing of beer that is protease enzyme protease enzyme is used in chill proofing of beer eighth question is which enzyme bring about the oxidation of essential fatty acid resulting in the development of off flavor and the answer for the question is lopo oxidase oxidizes next question is which used in brewing industry in the conversion of starch to maltose for fermentation almost all the fermentations require the the enzyme that is amylase enzyme next question is the enzyme which is not commonly used for tenderizing of meat we have already discussed about this question like all the three trypsin papain and bromelain are the enzymes used for the tenderizing of meat and allicin is the enzyme which is not required for the tenderizing of meat. Next question is enzyme that converts cellobios to glucose and the answer is beta glucosidase. Next question is enzyme in milk is not destroyed by pasteurization. Lactose, rennet and lipase are the enzyme are the enzyme used to destroy the uh, enzymes in pasteurization and xanthelin oxidase is the, is the answer of this question. Next question is the method used to remove hydratable guns in soybean oil is called degumming. Soybean oil uh, for degumming. De degumming is the process of removal of the uh, outer coverage from from the seeds ne next question is which enzyme leads to browning of apple browning of apple is generally seen because of the enzymatic browning so the answer is polyphenol oxidase when the polyphenol oxidase and phenol phenolates come into contact with the oxygen it it converts the apple to the browning and which is known as enzymatic browning Next question is which enzyme is denatured at blanching temperature and that is peroxidase enzyme. Which of the following is a cryogenic fluid? Oxygen is known as the cryogenic fluid. Next question is change that a lipid undergoes leading to undesirable flavor and odor is known as rancidity. As we have already seen in our homes and households, uh, when when a uh, when a food substance stinking 
it smells doesn't feels good is known as density next reaction is substance used to preserve food by lowering the ph are known as vinegar and citric acid vinegar and citric acid have generally low ph and it is also used for lowering the ph of other food substances next reaction is the substance of altering gas composition for storage of fruit is known as modified atmospheric packaging in modified atmospheric packaging we flushed out uh, other uh, gases like uh, carbon dioxide and nitrogen and remove all the oxygens from it and so that it, uh, it it is uh, a good and appropriate method for the preservation of food next question is the only inorganic acid used as a food as acidulant and that is phosphoric acid which of the which of these is not a chemical leavening agent chemical leavening agent in me se kaun sa nahi hai and the answer is sodium tartrate as we already know about this question like baking soda l, l ammonium carbonate and yeast we used in our home for the fermentation and leavening agent next question is what is the expensive method for drying to preserve food solar drying tray drying and drum drying are inexpensive method for the food preservation and the Uh, expensive method for drying or to preserve food that is freeze drying next question is most animal fats such as those from meat milk eggs are relatively rich in saturated fatty acids let's discuss a more points about saturated and unsaturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acids are generally obtained from other sources like oils vegetables oils etc and the saturated fatty acids are the substance which is obtained from mostly from animal fats saturated fatty acids are solid at room temperature and unsaturated fatty acids are uh, liquid at room temperature next question is which among the following carbohydrate is used during intense exercise that is glycogen next question and the last question is what is the action of dietary fibers i guess we all know about this question already so the answer is to make changes to low no nutrients and chemical are absorbed dietary fibers are the substance which uh, lower are uh, which lower the fat substance in our body and uh, and chemicals are absorbed into our body so it's very good for our health and our human body that's all for today's class so let's discuss about more about food tech online courses we have exams like cuet pg fci and food analyst and many other food technology exams for more join our uh, app for the in the which is which is link in the description thank you for today's class have a nice day